today's video we will be discussing river profiles. River profile. Now the following three factors influence the shape of the river profile. The amount of energy that is available for erosion. Remember this can either be back cutting or down cutting erosion. The transportation and deposition of sediments and the landforms that are shaped by this river. They all determine the profile of the river. Now remember, the steeper the gradient, the faster the river flows. Therefore, more erosion will take place. A transverse profile or cross profile is basically just a cross section of a river at a certain point. Now, if you imagine that you are standing inside the middle of the river and you are looking either downstream or upstream, and you take a cross section of what you are seeing, both above and below the water, that is a transverse profile. In my next couple of videos, I'll be explaining fluvial landforms. So after I've finished explaining all of that, I'll go into more detail about each section of the river. So right now, I'll just give you a very brief, very general description of each section. And then later on in a later video, I'll give you a lot more detail. In the upper course of the river, the gradient is very steep. Therefore, more erosion takes place and no deposition takes place. The valleys are very deep and narrow. In the middle course, the gradient is less steep and there is more lateral erosion. Some deposition takes place, especially when the meanders start occurring. The, the valley is wider and, and the banks are less steep. In the lower course, the gradient is gentle and there is a lot of deposition, but very little erosion. The valleys are wide and the banks are very gentle. A longitudinal profile. Now imagine if you can stand far away from the river and you are able to see the entire river course from the source of the river to the river mouth and you are able to draw a line following this course. This would be the longitudinal profile of a river. Now the longitudinal profile indicates the gradient of a river and the ideal shape is a concave shape with a very steep upper course and a more gradual lower course. The permanent or ultimate base level of a river is the lowest possible point that the river can erode to. So in other words, sea level. Temporary base level is when the river's vertical erosion is temporarily slowed down. So this is not the permanent base level, but at this point very little to no erosion takes place. Examples of this are rapids, waterfalls, lakes or dams.